Okay, welcome back. Um, and now on question number three from the January 2021 P1 International A Level at Excel paper. And now I'm going to be dealing with this question, which is to do with trig graphs. So it says figure one shows a sketch of part of the curve C1 with equation y equals 4 cosine x. This is y equals 4 cosine x. Okay, it says, and it's in degrees, it says degrees here. The point P and the point Q lie on C1 and are shown in figure 1. All right, state the coordinates of P and the coordinates of Q. Okay, so now if this is y equals 4 times cosine x, then if you think about y equals cosine x, y equals cosine x would have, um, would go from 1 to minus 1 as its maximum minimum. Okay. And this is like a transformation y equals 4 times f of x. So this is a transformation where um, it's outside the function. It's, diff it's not like cosine of 4x. This, that's something different. That's inside the function. This causes a vertical transformation. This causes a horizontal transformation. So it's not that one. It's this type. It's, it's, the, it's of the type y equals some constant times f of x. That causes a vertical stretch, meaning the y-coordinates are all multiplied by 4. All the y-coordinates are multiplied by 4 from the normal graph, y equals cosine x. Okay, so if we think about y equals cosine x, then what we have here is um, the same function where all the y-coordinates are multiplied by 4, yet all the x-coordinates remain exactly where they are. Now, we know that the, lowest, the highest value for y equals cosine x is 1. And the lowest value for y equals cosine x is minus 1. And they occur at the same points that these highest and lowest values ha happen for this y equals 4 cosine x because the x values don't change. So normally y equals cosine x would reach 1, um, would, would reach, um, when, when x is 0, would reach 1. But now when x is 0, it's going to reach 4. This is going to be a 4 up here. And down here is going to be a minus 4. Okay, this is going to be a minus 4. So we can see this point over here, this point over here, where it equals minus 4, okay? This, the coordinate of P is going to be something minus 4. Okay, what is the X value? Well, it doesn't change from normal. What X value would have uh, cosine X have become um, um, minus 1 for? Well, it becomes minus 1 when X is minus 180 degrees, okay? When it's minus 180 degrees, because it be it becomes minus 1 at 180 degrees and also this this corresponds to minus 180 degrees so this is going to be the value of um, th this particular point it's going to be 180 degrees and minus 4 okay so the coordinates of P okay the coordinates of P are going to be uh, minus 180 degrees and minus 4 okay and the coordinates of Q now Q is the place where this curve, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 90, this is going to be 180, this is going to be 270, this is going to be back to 360 again. Okay, so this is going to be basically 90 more than 360, you can see from here. That's 90 more than 360, so that's going to be 450 degrees. So that's that. the X values don't change in this transformation, just the Y values change. So this is going to be on the axis, if you multiply 0 by 4, it's going to stay at 0. So this is going to be 450 um, and 0. Okay, so 450 the angle and the y value will be 0. And there's the answer to part 2. It's going to be 450 degrees and 0. And that's the answer to that question. Okay, that's the answer to question um, 1, no, 3, sorry, A. Now for 3B, it says... The curve C2 has equation y equals 4 cosine x plus, plus k, where k is a constant. The curve C2 has a minimum y value of minus 1. Okay, and the point R is the maximum point on C2 with the, small, with the smallest positive x coordinate. So the point R is a maximum point on C2 with the smallest positive x coordinate. State the coordinates of R. Okay, so now this is not this 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 is y equals four cosine x. 
If you want to draw the the graph y equals cosine x plus k, okay, plus k, um, we we have to think about this is something where k is a constant and it's basically caused the minimum value to go from minus four to plus one to minus one, because the minimum value of this curve is right now is minus four, okay, and the minimum value of curve C two has to be minus one. So basically, it has to rise up by three units, okay, for it to have get a minimum value of minus one, okay. So therefore, we know that y equals four cosine x plus three. That will give us a minimum value of minus one. That's a min right now. The minimum value is minus four. It has to be minus one by adding something to the whole function. So therefore, it must be plus three. That causes a vertical translation of three units um, upwards. Now, it says the point R is the maximum point on C2 with the smallest positive x coordinate. So it corresponds to the position that this, this point would have here because that's the maximum is where it reaches the top of its flight or top of its curve. This is a minimum. This is the first point where it reaches a maximum. Okay, so that's going to be at 360 degrees. It says positive, zero is also a point where it's maximum, but that's not a positive value. It has to be the smallest positive x coordinate. Zero is not considered a positive number, nor is it considered a negative number. So I know for sure, for sure that R has the coordinates 360 degrees for the x coordinate, but we've got to determine what the y coordinate is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I just kind of copied this graph earlier, and best I could just to, to illustrate to you so just imagine this is the curve before anything's happened to it this is the curve y equals 4 cosine x if I write if I raise this three units upwards just three units upwards okay then this point here as I said now the minimum value as you can see is going to be minus 1 the minimum value as you can see is going to be minus 1 okay that's the minimum value and we can see that the, the maximum value is going to be up here. Okay, it's going to be up here. So the maximum value was 4. It's raised by 3 units, so now it's 7. So the point, the maximum, the smallest um, positive x coordinate, which um, has the, the maximum point, which this is going to be your R over here. So this point here is the maximum point on the curve C2. Okay, which is y equals 4 cosine x plus 3. Okay, which has um, the maximum point with the smallest positive x coordinate. Okay, there's a maximum here, but that's not, uh, that's not a positive x coordinate. That's 0. 0 is not positive. So 360 degrees is the next place it becomes a maximum. And that value there is 360 and 7. So those are the coordinates of r. Okay, so that's the answer to part b. And uh, that was it, I think, for that question, A and B. Okay, so there's question number um, three from the P1 January 2021 paper. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here. Other questions from trig graphs from P1 will appear in this section over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And on the top of the page, you will have seen a card taking to a different past paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching and see you soon.